Hey everyone, Scott here. I want to take just a few minutes to share with you about a fun development here at Commons over the past couple of years. I'm talking about our courses. Now, our community has always prioritized the importance of learning together, and we have done this as an expression of our commitments to being intellectually honest, spiritually passionate, and Jesus-centered. And these commitments find expression in the ways that we teach on Sundays, for sure, but they also show up in all kinds of other places, like our weekend university and pop-up theology events in the past, or film screenings that we've hosted, or in the reading groups that always seem to be happening around the community, which is so great. And each of these has helped expand our imagination of God and the world, often by exposing us to voices outside of commons while creating dynamic conversation within our community. So rewind to early 2020, when our opportunities for connection really started to narrow. And as a team, we realized that we needed to be creative in making new spaces for us to continue learning. And one of the ways that we did this was to organize courses. And here's a couple examples. We organized a marriage relationship course that's now running its third cohort, providing support to more than 40 couples in our community. We also revamped our popular backstory class into a new Jesus-centered theology course. And then over the next couple of years, we've actually added some other options. Some are really practical, like our Theology of Work course that investigates the connection between faith and professional and domestic life our Prayer Apprentice course that exposes participants to different Christian prayer techniques and gets you practicing. Now, in addition to these, we continue to craft future plans. We've got an expanding theologies course coming later this spring, which is gonna invite us to hear from voices in our tradition that have often been marginalized. And we are also working on a society series that's gonna explore the relationship between faith and this Canadian culture that we live in, which is gonna be super fun. Now, we have run courses online and in person over the past couple of years, and we will continue to offer a hybrid model whenever possible moving forward. And this is part of our continuing commitment to make connection accessible and help as many of you be able to join in when you can. And this is important because courses seem to occupy this interesting space between our groups and our Sunday gatherings. They're a little different than our groups because they only run for four to six weeks, which is a set time commitment that works for some of us. And they're a little different than Sundays because they put us beside the same people for several weeks in a row and invite us into curated discussions with some of those people. And this has been so helpful during all the adaptation and change that we have gone through together. But I think it might just be important for the days ahead too. So. If you are ever curious about what courses we offer, there are a couple of places that you can look to find that info. There's an events section in our journal that offers some descriptions if you're curious, but if you wanna learn more and register for a particular course, I invite you to head over to our website, click on the next steps tab at the top and link there to our events page. We look forward to the conversations ahead as we keep learning together.